Hello, everyone, and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you enjoy commentary that's straight to the point, join our family. I'd love to have you. So Miss Robbie has broken her silence pertaining to the untimely passing of her grandson and the accusation surrounding her son, James Timothy Norman, being the author and finisher of Andre Montgomery. In an interview with Black Enterprise, she was asked the following, and here are her responses. The interviewer asks, how did you survive your grandson Andre's death in 2016 and ultimately your son, Tim Norman, being charged in connection with that death? What's keeping you going? Miss Robbie says, my faith. I'm believing this is going to turn out right. I'm praying. The whole world is praying for my family. We're just getting up every day, going day by day. It's not a good position to be in, but God put this on me and I'm handling it and I know he's not going to let me down. So my family is dealing with all these issues. She continues by saying, after this, there will be something else. Did you pay the light bill? Then the gas bill is due. So life is like that and whatever it deals you, you just have to deal with it. It's nothing I've reached in the barrel and pull out. I'm just doing the best I can and staying prayed up. The interviewer asks, where do things stand in the case? Is it still ongoing? Are they still investigating? She says, everything is at a standstill. I really don't know a lot about it. That's why I don't talk about it. We're just waiting. Everything is kind of a standstill because of COVID. So the courts are behind, but we're just waiting and praying for a miracle. After all, everyone has to realize that he, Tim, hasn't been found guilty. That's what he's accused of. So we don't know what happened. That's my son. I mean, it's like a marriage till death do us part. I can't give him back. When kids get in trouble, they're still your kids, no matter what happens. I'm still his mom and he's got my support. And I'm praying my child gets out of this because like I say, he hasn't been found guilty, but the world beat him up. This could happen to you, it happened to me. It could happen to anybody's family. She continued by saying, we just have to go right on living. You don't die when things happen. You just have to deal with it and what it takes. She was then asked, how is he holding up? Ms. Robbie responds by saying, he's holding up. I mean, he has no choice. I mean, he's ready to come home. Things are slow in the court, so I have to encourage him. That is all part of it. This is a part of the process and we're all going through it, but as a family, we're sticking together. The interviewer also said, you've been through a lot of heartache over the past five years. And Miss Robbie responds by saying, all my life. As to whether or not Sweetie Pies will return to the screen and the relationship with her and Oprah, she had this to say. The interviewer asks, what happened to Welcome to Sweetie Pies on OWN? Are you through with that or are you working on reviving it? She says, we're not reviving it. We had like a seven year contract and we did a hundred plus episodes. We got two NWACP Image Awards. I think it's ran its course. And at the end of the contract, that was it. So I don't know what's in store for the future. I mean, I'm open to whatever because I didn't know I was going to get that. That happened in my 70s. So you never know in your life what's going to come for you. You have to be open to receiving it. The interviewer then asks, are you still in touch with Oprah? Miss Robbie responds by saying, I never was. I mean, it was a business thing. And we see each other when things came up. We were working people, so I was part of her show. She was very cordial. She was very nice. But it wasn't like I spoke to her every day. Then the interviewer asked a question that most of us want to know, which was, did she reach out to you after your grandson's death and with all that's been going on in your life? Did Oprah reach out to you? And she says, I'd rather not say. She closed by saying, I just want to thank everybody for all the support and take Miss Robbie to the Grammys. I am trying to be the oldest female there. Y'all can do it, so look out for me. 
From this interview, which I link below in the comment section, so you can read it in its entirety if you would like, this is what I came away with. One, Ms. Robbie will stick beside Tim no matter what the outcome of this case is. Two, she is the one that is financially supporting this accused murderer. And three, she is going to be working for the rest of her life because like most black women, she never got a chance to just take a break, which is what she really needs. Let's discuss all this information in the comment section. And if this were your son, would you stick beside him? Talk about being in between a rock and a hard place. If you haven't already, please like this video as it helps to grow our channel. Also, subscribe because I'd really appreciate it. And the goal is to get to 30,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is next month. And turn on your notification bell. Stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye.